Hello. Welcome to tonight's Bible study. Tonight's Bible study is on the gifts, the spiritual gifts, and it ends in 1 Corinthians chapter 12 with earnestly desire the best gifts. That means that we can petition to the Lord. We can pray and ask the Lord and desire of the Lord that we would have the best gifts to be able to minister to the body of Christ. We are all one body fitted together by the Lord. And so God gives one to be the pastor, one to be the teacher, one to be the prophet, one to be uh, able to work miracles, one to have gift gifts of healing, uh, one that I like is Barnabas, and he is a son of encouragement. That he lifts the people up in the body of Christ to do even better and uh, more dynamic gifts. Or they bear more fruit just because they're stirred up in the spirit. So Paul said. Uh, if a man says, because I'm not the mouth, I'm not part of this body. You know that some people want to be up front and, and want to be up front teaching and preaching. And, uh, and yet they're relegated to being an administrator. And because they don't have the honor of the preacher, uh, it up it's upsetting to them and yet God wants to lift them up where they're at we all fit together and work as one body and so it says that if one person in the body is honored that we should all rejoice and yet people want to be uh, feel the most important People want the most honor. Uh, for instance, uh, two of the most awesome disciples, John and uh, James, the sons of thunder, the uh, sons of Zebedee, uh, they wanted to set at Jesus' right and left hand. And uh, it's like, she said, those seats aren't for me to assign. <laughs> and besides, can you drink the drink that I'm about to drink? And they said, yes, Lord, we, we are able to. And uh, said, yeah, and you will. And James did right away almost because he was the first of the apostles to be martyred. Why is there so much backbiting and fighting in and amongst the body? And we're all supposed to be working together. And, and some say, I don't need to go to church. I, I don't need uh, to be in a church on Sunday. And yet, if you're not part of the body... And you're like a finger that's been cut off and is wandering around by itself. Doesn't have a hand, doesn't have an arm. Just this little finger. I'm, I'm the little finger. I don't need the body. <laughs> yeah. Right. You're not being ministered by, to by anybody in the body of Christ. All you want to do is sit at home. You're not being a blessing to anyone else in the church. Those that would minister to you would receive a blessing by ministering to you. And those you might minister to because you might have the gift of helps and be able to help them in uh, taking care of their car or 
bringing a meal. Whatever it might be. But again, the chapter ends with you know, be happy with what you have been given to do. But it's an admonition also to earnestly desire the best gifts. And if we have a desire for the best gift, then we have to have something that would produce the best gift also. And that would require us to really draw in to God, draw close to God. Because we're not going to be the vessel of honor that the Lord wants us to be if we're apart from Him. So, so let your requests be made known to God and do all things through prayer and supplication and uh, supplication could uh, be additional works. It's a little bit confusing, I would think. Oh, supplication would be uh, lifting up other brothers and doing things for other brothers. Uh, could be also uh, fasting and so that's something I haven't done in a while but fasting is powerful and it's something that sets us apart that it's not the not taking of the food that's important is that we dedicated that time to the Lord we're setting aside the food and relying on the Lord. And it's, it's powerful. I've seen some powerful effects from fasting. So, praise God from whom all blessings flow. And uh, just have to share one thing. I shared with somebody at my work about some of the things about 911, uh, the uh, Manhattan Island, where New York City is, was discovered on September the 11th, 1601, 400 years to the day of the terrorist attack on 911, 2001 commemorate the 400th anniversary of that ship uh, discovering the island. A uh, replica of that ship, called the Half Moon, sailed into New York Harbor the morning of 9-1-1. John Winthrop, who was on that ship, dedicated that land to the Lord. And pronounced a curse upon a, any generation that would rise up that would not bring honor to God. Just beneath where the Twin Towers were built was St. Paul's Chapel and is still there, which was the chapel that George Washington walked to with members of Congress on the day in which he was inaugurated in the nation's capital of New York City. When George Washington was inaugurated, New York City was the nation's capital. And so they went to the church on the same 
grounds where the Twin Towers would rise. This part of the same parcel of land, which was a big parcel, people had farms. So you bought acres and you didn't buy a little two twenty square foot plot, you know. So uh it was the same parcel of land that the Twin Towers rose up on, and that church was one of the few buildings that remained miraculously when those Twin Towers fell. And it stands as a memorial right alongside Ground Zero. The nation was dedicated there, and the the ground of the consecration became the ground of the judgment. Powerful message. If you'd like to hear the full message, you should buy the book or read the book I, or listen to the audio book. I listened to the audio book, The Harbinger, and I've just listened to The Harbinger too. Powerful messages about how the United States is following Israel's path in rebellion to God's judgment outlined in the book of Isaiah, following the exact path. The exact scripture matches our judgment to the T, and we're following the same steps that Israel did to its destruction. But there's still time for repentance for our nation. And on a lighter note, I'm happy to hear that uh, some that I, a uh, pastor that I love, said that the Lord told him that we are now in the third great awakening of this country and uh, that's awesome news and uh, it's what a year to get stirred up for the Lord because I don't think I've ever been uh, as stirred up for the Lord as I have been this year since I've come here to Washington because I know even as God told Timothy through Paul to stir up the gift that is within you, that has been given to you through the laying on of hands, and to use it, then believe me, I want to be used by the Lord in an amazing way here in Washington. And I know that when the Lord wants to use me, that he will give me the words to speak and that he'll anoint those words. And I've had it happen before that the words coming out of my mouth were almost tickling my ears. I'd be listening to myself speak and saying, I don't recognize the man who's talking <laughs> because what I'm hearing I don't know how in the world it's coming out of my mouth. <laughs> and it's it sounds like craziness to the unbeliever, but it's the truth that God can do this thing. He can speak right through you. And I I want to give myself over to that, that he can speak right through me. And the, the words that I hear coming out of my mouth will, I will know they are the Lord's words and not my words. And uh, I'm believing it. I've had words of prophecy about this before I ever left California, that the anointing that I enjoyed a little touch of then is going to be poured out in big measure and that the Lord is going to use me in an incredible way. And so... This man who told me that, mm -hmm. he told me mm -hmm. two other prophecies that have come to pass exactly mm -hmm. as he told me. And so there's only one mm -hmm. left. And 
I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> this is my season. And I'm sure of that. I'm confident of that. And it's your season too. If you make it your season. And so wake up because it's time. <laughs> and uh, I'll uh, be praising the Lord this night. And I pray that you will be too. So I lift you up and tell you earnestly desire the best gifts. God wants you to have them. And he wants that in Jesus' name. And be blessed. Bye.